Welcome back to Recap in Minutes. In today's video, we will be going through a 2017 crime drama movie titled American Made. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In 1978, Barry Seal works as a pilot for Trans World Airlines. He comes home tired every time after work. He is married to a woman called Lucy. Next scene shows Barry packing packets of Cuban cigar he smuggled into the country via Canada into a box. While at a bar one night, Barry drops the box to a bartender and receives some cash in an envelope as exchange. He is also found by a man saying his name is Monty Schaefer. He is familiar with Barry's work as a pilot and a smuggler of Cuban cigars, but Schaefer offers him a chance to make better money by taking on reconnaissance missions for the CIA in a smaller plane with cameras just south of the border. Schaefer takes Barry to a hangar which he shows him a small, fast, twin-engine Piper Smith Aerostar 600, outfitted with sophisticated aerial surveillance cameras. He convinces Barry that he would be working for the good guys, but it would have to be kept completely secret, even from his own family. He then lets Barry take the plane out for a ride. Barry tells his wife, Lucy, he's still working for Trans World Airlines. One day at his regular duty for Trans World Airlines, Barry gets annoyed with his regular work routines before a takeoff. He rudely leaves the plane and leaves the job as a pilot for Trans World Airlines for good. As he begins his new job, Barry starts making tapes documenting his travels and exploits. He flies over countries like Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. During one of his exploits, the fan wing of his plane gets hit by the militants, but still makes it out. After each exploit, Barry changes to the former airline uniform he worked for before heading home, so as to make Lucy believes he still works with the airline. Schaefer is so impressed with the photos that Barry brings back to him, that he assigns Barry a new task of being a bagman between the CIA and General Noriega in Panama, who sells the agency's intel on all the commis. Barry's work is just to drop off and pick up. On his mission, Barry meets the Medellin cartel members, they takes him to cartel leader Jorge Ochoa, who introduce him to other cartel bosses Carlos Later and Pablo Escobar. They had a few difficulties getting cocaine export to the country, so they decided to try new ideas. They want to get their drugs into the United States, but the runway for the planes is too risky for most pilots. Barry takes his plane for a ride and almost crashes into the trees, but manages to pull up and continue his flight with ease delivering the drugs via airdrop in the countryside instead of landing at an airport before getting back to the U.S. without getting in trouble. Barry now has the trust of the cartel. However, the DEA raid one of their compounds and Barry is arrested along with the cartel. Schaefer finds him in his cell and tells him that his house will get raided and Lucy will most likely be brought in for questioning and be kept overnight. When Barry gets out, he goes home and urges Lucy and the kids to pack up their things so they can move. Despite Lucy's questioning, Barry insists he cannot tell her a thing, leading her to lose trust in him. Barry's family move to a remote town Mina, Arkansas, in an empty apartment. Schaefer meets with Barry again and is then given the assignment to move guns for the Contras, even being allowed to own his own airport and planes for the job in the town. His first flight to meet with the Contras ends with them robbing his stuff instead of taking his guns. Barry calls Schaefer to let him know that the Contras are not interested in the guns, on his second trip, he brings gifts to the Contras to avoid them robbing him. He meets with the cartel leader again, Jorge, to negotiate sending the guns to the cartel instead. Barry brings guns to the cartel and ships their drugs to the US and the Contras while trying his hardest to avoid being detected by the law. The whole operation got so big, Barry had to get some help. Barry gets four other men, Pete, Stan, Cooper and Bob, to help him on his trips when he realizes the workload is too much for one guy to pull off. They fly separate planes on their missions, delivering the drugs. Schaefer then asks Barry to bring back some of the Contras to the U.S. for the CIA newly established training base. Upon arrival, however, some of them escape as soon as they arrive. As Barry's business grows, he starts to contribute to the community and provide even more for his family, while also shamelessly indulging in his wealth and setting up fronts in the community to hide all the money. He has over $105 million saved in trust and banks, even some packed in bags at home, some buried in the wood behind his house and 90 pounds of gold in his closet, not to talk of one of the bank in Mana that built his main vault. He has his fingers in every pie on the rack. Barry's freeloading brother-in-law JB moves in, whom Barry is not fond of, needing a job. Barry sets him up working at the airport. Eventually, he started stealing from Barry, money he was hiding in the hangar. 
using it to buy himself a new car and to pick up an underage girl. The DEA starts to go after the pilots. On one mission, Barry crash lands and loses a significant portion of the drugs. Meanwhile, the cartel runs into trouble when Escobar declares war on the government, and the cartel gets kicked out of Colombia. Barry must meet with them to sort out the issues. At the same time, JB gets arrested by the town's sheriff after he is caught carrying a suitcase full of laundered cash. After bailing JB out, Barry drives him to a separate car so that he can leave and gives him money and a plane ticket to Bora Bora. JB demands weekly cash, insults Lucy and Barry. As Barry chases after him, JB is killed in his car by a bomb placed by the Medellin cartel, who has previously promised to take care of JB problem. Barry gets rid of the car by dumping it in the woods. Barry and Schaefer meet to discuss what's been going on. Schaefer says the Contras left since they just weren't fighting. The CIA then starts to get rid of anything involving Barry. Barry attempts to move the stash of products out of the airport, but he is found by DEA, ATF, Arkansas State Police, and finally FBI. He is then arrested. Barry meets with a prosecutor, Dana Sabota, who is helping on getting Barry locked up. As he waits outside while she speaks to a higher superior on the phone, Barry tries to bribe the agents with caddies while also insisting he will walk away scot-free. Sabota comes out and confirms that Barry is free to go. Barry is given a task by the White House under Ronald Reagan's administration to gather dirt on the Sandinistas, all of whom are believed to be drug traffickers. Barry has no choice so that he can escape his prosecution. They ask Barry to get photos that tie the Medellin cartel to the Nicaraguan Sandinistas. They set up cameras and a plane for Barry to get photos as proof. Barry returns to meet with Jorge Ochoa and the rest of the Medellin cartel. As he still has their trust, Barry engages in business with them, moving products into the plane where the photos are taken. While watching news at home, the White House later releases the photos as propaganda, and Barry is seen in the photos. Barry gives a call to the White House, and he is told that they were not supposed to be released to the public until after the cartel members were caught. When Barry realizes he is screwed, he has a good time with his family before the DEA go through Barry's house looking for evidence, digging out all of his cash and money in the house. Lucy takes the kids to Baton Rouge. Barry is convicted and is sentenced to 1,000 hours of community service. He moves from hotel to hotel each night, making video recordings of his experiences. Barry fears an explosion anytime he starts his car. As his community service is performed at the Salvation Army building every night, Barry cannot hide from the cartel. On one such night, he is approached in his car by hitmen sent by Escobar, and he is subsequently murdered. The final text states that Schaefer got promoted after suggesting they get the Iranians to arm the Contras. One of Barry's guys went on to become a pastor in Alabama after he was set free. The rest of the pilots weren't seen after that. The CIA continued to use Barry's plane to arm the Contras until one of the planes was shot down over Nicaragua. The ensuing scandal was known as the Iran-Contra affair. Lucy returned to Louisiana with the kids. The last thing we see is her working as a cashier at a coffee shop, still wearing a bracelet that Barry gave her. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notice when a new video is uploaded.